one. Victoria's Secret yeah. returns to sexiness after woke feminist campaign fails. Victoria's Secret is abandoning its woke marketing approach and returning to its hypersexualized image after nearly three years of falling sales. According to President Greg Eunice, the brand is refocusing on sexiness. Interesting. I wonder why. While claiming it can, be, it, can, it can celebrate the diverse experience of our customers, rebranding effort, which began in 2019 with the suspension of the famous Angels runway shows and continued in 2021 with the introduction of the VS Collo Collective, including figures like making can you, can you pull up actually Google the VS Collective and go to images, see what comes up including figures like Megan Rapinoe, has not been successful. CEO Martin Waters admitted that despite best efforts, it has not been enough to carry the day. To recover from projected revenue decreases, including a 5% drop in 2023 compared to the previous year, Victoria's Secret is resuming runway shows, relaunching swimwear, and, and active wear lines, and modernizing its physical store. Kayvon, what do you have on this story? What are your well, thoughts this, on this? This just proves that being woke doesn't work for so many things. And how do you mess up TNA? Like, we already love it. <laughs> you have to go out of your way. And it's not just the Megan Rapino. Scientific, right? That's kind of science. I it think. is that science. Is science. got to trust the science. It TNA, is science. Right. They went and made 300-pound mannequins. You're trying to sell women and men on the fantasy of lingerie. Yes, these people exist, but you're selling the fantasy. So you got a 300-pound mannequin. They told me I can't use my plastic straw in my smoothie. Yeah. And they're making they're using all the straw plastic to make the bigger mannequins. <laughs> I, I call them manatees. And <laughs> <laughs> they fire they need to fire all of their experts because you look at it, there is a uh, there's the stock market, which has gone down five percent for them, but there's the appendage market. You don't need an expert. You just see if if if, if the man looks at the outfit and it goes like that, that's gonna do well. And if it goes that's not going to stop. Wow. Oh, what, yeah. a, what an angle you took. Now, that you have to be able to have technology to see through clothes to see what it's what it's doing. But, Vinny, I'm, what would you I'm, say to this? I'm, dead, I'm furious. As somebody that's been analyzing I'm, their content for many years, Victoria's Secret. I'm actually furious, Pat. Tell I'm, me. The, I'm, I love, like, that big, huge, like, because I, some of the runways, I guess, broke. Like, I'm in, like, I don't know why they're changing it back. The to, runway broke. The run, runways, and I, like, I just feel You're like funny. No, nothing, the runway became a half pipe. Like nothing a turns me on more than looking at somebody. I'm like, wow, that's that's morbidly obese person. By the way, do you have friends? Be honest. Do you have friends that like big girls? 100%. Yes. I do too. Patrick. Okay. Are they, what? Can I ask you a question? I had a roommate. <laughs> Can I ask the ethnicity? Are they Middle Eastern or are they black? I'm not even going to tell okay, you. Okay, because my guy is Middle Eastern, and he's a good-looking, okay. handsome guy, and he's so, like, oh I have, God. I have friends who like big girls, yeah. and they're across the board. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> most of the time when people will say guy that likes big girls, they're also big or they're not handsome or something like that. But believe it or not, there were some very good-looking guys that preferred big girls. Yeah. Okay? Now, to each his own. Yeah. One liked Super, super big girls, okay? Uh, where it, it was just a, and by the way, he was my roommate in the army. So you had and to see I these have, girls. Uh, see, <laughs> here. Are you kidding me? Like, I was like, I would say, look, it's two o'clock in the morning, buddy. Take a break. But Take oh, no, look, God. you know, you know what's the best thing about what's going on with Victoria's Secret, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, Victoria's Secret was a good buy three months ago. Somebody should have bought Victoria's Secret three months ago. Mm -hmm. Maxim just came out with another woke thing. Did you see about what Maxim just came out with? Maxim Magazine. Just type in Maxim Magazine woke. And, and you'll see if you type in Maxim Magazine woke. Uh, zoom in a little bit. Zoom in a little bit. Why Maxim? Uh, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. And the top 100, right? The top 100 hottest people. Uh, you know who's in there? Marco Robbie's in there. But you know who else is in there? A trans man. Yeah. is in their top 100 hot list. Mm. Transgender woman is a top 100 hot list. By the way, Maxim Magazine is a great buy. Do you remember when Maxim Magazine used to be oh, 300 pages with beautiful. high quality content? Amazing. It was sick. Yeah. They were selling sex. They were selling it to the young 24, 25 year old, 30 year old, you know, going out there, lifestyle. It was like one of those magazines yeah, everybody it. wanted to buy. And then all of a sudden, boom, they go woke, okay? Mm -hmm. So Victoria's Secret, I'm glad, by the way, that's one of the top 100. Best looking oh woman God. in the wait, world. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I'm oh telling that's God. according to Maxim. You swear he to God. Is, bro, go up. Go, show the content at the top, Rob, so, so they can see it. So that's Horrifying. before. Wait, that's before and after? He is Ooh. 92 of the top 100 hottest women in the world, according to Maxim I Magazine Ugh. in Australia. Look at that. How do we get Look at that. that. That's the point. But here's the part. You know what's the best thing about these, time, these types of dumb ideas? Oh, it takes a year, two years, three years to get exposed. It's exactly what's going on with Victoria's Secret. 
Tom, for somebody that's on their elite uh, Victoria's Secret shopper, what would you say about mm. what Victoria's Secret is doing? The change? Yes. My name is Bill Clinton, and I approved this message. <laughs> <laughs> so Bill is back. And, Pat, and here's Got my it. question, though. When, when you know what I think the- it is? No, I'll give you, honestly, from an entrepreneur, just a management standpoint, they let themselves be swayed by the mob, not by the data that they knew about their products, not by what they understood. They let themselves be swayed by the mob. Mm-hmm. And they just took an economic holiday that is actually left – to use a biz doc phrase, that has left them worse than they found them, that left their own finances worse than they found them. So there's the consequence. You bow to the mob. You don't do what's right for your customer, and you're going to wake up one day. That mob isn't going to help you move your stock price back up. That mob doesn't care about the losses you got. That mob doesn't care what you're enduring. They're just going to go out and try to intimidate the next one, but, and that's what I think. But, Pat, but here's my question, Pat. You're a CEO. You own multiple companies. PHP, huge, huge company. I, I don't understand how how, like they allow this woke like for instance Bud Light did the Dylan Mulvaney billions of dollars right Target they were going after you know the kids sexualizing kids Bud have- Light supposedly was, wasn't top down supposedly it wasn't top down it was the independent marketing group that was for Bud Light they had their VP levels they had authority and they took this step and they stepped in it but when but Tom my point is I don't, like, I don't know about that Tom, I, Tom let, let, somebody let, let, let me give you let me give you my my think here Everything rises and falls on the leader, okay? Mm -hmm. So as much as you and I met him, we had a conversation Mm -hmm. with him. The CEO was a former CIA agent, former Marine, stud of a guy, went to Harvard. Smart guy. Smart guy, had a very good conversation with him. And I told him to his face when I spoke to him, how do you not know a marketing campaign like that? You do. And you mean to tell me you empower everybody to make those decisions without running that big of a campaign, that controversial campaign through you? I'm sorry. If you didn't know about that, then you're not fit to run a company that big. Exactly. You have to have leaders that know these are the things that are the no-goes. When it comes, for example, you know what I would do? Here's what I would do. So, for example, I would take the angle of saying that, you know how uh, when we first raised our capital, the first capital we raised, no, the second one, $10 million we raised. Mm-hmm. Hey, anytime you uh, are making any kind of decisions above a half a million dollars, guess what? What? You guys have to know. Give us a call. Yep. Okay. So what do we do? We never called them. Well, tell them what that meant. <laughs> tell them what that meant. You didn't hear what I just said, Tom. No, no, no. no I did. No, I you did. did not hear what I said. No, of didn't. course they know what it means. It means every time you're making a purchase over half a million, give yep. us a call to confirm. So, of course, we call them every single time. We'd, get, we have, so we'd have that friendly fun. conversation. Well, most but, of the time. But, but here's the part. The point is we would call, and we would say, hey, we're going to do this. It's going to cost $2 bucks. Okay, tell us the number. Okay, great. We're going to do the $600,000. Great, no problem. So – if a person is running a company that big, you would say any marketing campaign that is public, branding us, has to be seen and approved by these four C-suite executives. I would choose two that are from the left, two that are from the right. Mm-hmm. That's how I would do it. And I would say, look, these guys are this side. Give your opinion. These guys are this side. We would have a board and an environment that encourages debate. Okay, where you guys can hash it out and argue with each other and say, here's what I think is a good idea, here's what I think is a bad idea. No problem. And then if it's a big campaign that you're doing something that's controversial, having to be tied to Israel, Middle East, wars, LGBTQ, anything like that, I must approve. Okay, So I'm not convinced uh, Anheuser-Busch didn't know about it and they just kind of went through it. And if they didn't, I think it's mismanagement. Of some like that that cost them thirty billion dollars. But go ahead, finish but, but, your thought. I'm just curious. It's still Pat. costing. It has not bounced back. It's not slow I, I'm yet. just curious, Pat, because when is the left going to realize <clears throat> your woke shit <clears throat> doesn't work? From from the Bud Light, from the Target to defund the police, they're batting O for a thousand. Mm. It's like at what point, uh, Pat, are they going to go? Okay, guys. No, I don't even want to hear any of your stupid they're, shit. They're, 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 they're not winning at all. Zero wins. Not my, even a hit on base. This but, isn't their playing field. They don't care. No, they're not trying to win here. But but trust me, common sense always prevails. But before common sense prevails, a lot of people get destroyed. <laughs> this isn't anything new. How many how many people do you know? Like, you know, I've seen guys that would have been giants with us in sales, in the insurance industry, or even here. They would have been giants, okay? They chose a short-term girl over their career. I've seen girls that would have been incredible. They chose a short-term six-month fling thinking he loved her, but it was just a fling. He wanted just one thing, and then she fell in love, ruined her career. 
And eventually, mm-hmm. three, four, five years later, they said I was wrong, and common sense prevails. But it's that guy stole five years of his life. That guy, five years of her life, or you know, she stole five years of his life. This happens. We've been guilty of falling for this trap. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.